500 million. That's the number of electronic gadgets purchased every year in the U.S. Three million, the number of annual tons of e-waste put into our landfills. Thirteen, that's the number of months the average U.S. cell phone is used before it's discarded. And ten, that's the number, the recycling rate, the percentage of these devices that are recycled currently. These numbers that I've just illustrated really go to show just how bad the e-waste problem is in America. And our vision is to change that. It's to dramatically increase these recycling rates and to forever alter the wasteful life cycle of consumer electronics. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tom Tully, Chairman and CEO of EcoATM. In just a few minutes, I'm going to show you our solution to this problem, the world's first fully automated self-serve machine for the buyback of used electronics, the EcoATM. To solve this problem, we've turned to technology itself through the use of visual automated systems, advanced robotics, as well as artificial intelligence. We believe we've provided the ultimate solution to this problem by providing convenience, guaranteed data erase, and most importantly, immediate financial incentive. Let me show you how it works. The EcoATM is capable of recycling a variety of different consumer electronics, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use a cell phone. Basically what you do is you put the phone into the inspection chamber. Our automated system would then identify what the phone is utilizing the database of over 4,000 different, different devices. I'll put it in and we'll see what's happening now. Uh, the system will identify the phone uh, and we build this database up every week with all the new models that come out into the market. Usually it takes between 5 and 20 seconds for this to occur. And as you see, a little slow, but it did actually correctly identify the iPhone 4. It's valued up to about $300, depending on the condition, whether the screen's broken or things of that nature. At this juncture, our robotic arm will put a cable into place for me to continue with the process. At this juncture, you'll see that the iPhone 4 cable is here. I connect the device and enter a series of numbers as instructed on the screen. I simply shut the door and continue with the process. Our visual systems will now go into the system and, and do electrical tests as well as visual tests doing a high resolution screen looking for damage to the case itself, the buttons, the LCD screen, the glass, etc. This usually takes around 30 seconds, and as you see, it has come back with a value of $300, which means it's found no significant flaws and is willing to pay the, the whole price. If the system had found some flaws, it would decrease that price accordingly. We now continue on to the process. We get a driver's license scan to help deter fraud and, and as well as uh, to deter theft. At this point now, we're going to make sure that the person selling us a phone is the owner, as well as is over 18 years of age and is able to do this transaction. We then come up with the terms and conditions of the sale, our guaranteed data erase policies, as well as uh, our, our um, privacy policies. We now offer to cash out or continue to recycle phones if we have a bag of them, for instance. And here now we can donate to charity or simply cash out. I'm going to ask the Eco ATM to show me the money. Our phone is now disconnected from the system and binned. And voila, the Eco ATM now dispenses cash just like a regular ATM. The system can also be configured to pay out in gift cards or in store credit. As you can see, the Eco ATM provides convenience, guaranteed data erase, and immediate financial incentive. So go home, get your trash, come and get some cash, and I'll see all of you at an Eco ATM soon. Thank you very much.